Welcome back to the channel. Today, what I'm going to be talking about is the UFC Lightweight Championship. And the thing about that is, is that you're looking at uh, Connor versus Kahib. And you would think that Connor, after getting beat up by Floyd Mayweather, that the guy would at some point have a little bit of uh, humbleness about him. But I guess since he went back to uh, his own profession, which is the uh, UFC, uh, the guy still has uh, spunk. But the only thing about it is, is that whenever you are like a guy like Conor and you, and you talk a lot of smack and a lot of trash, you have to be able to back it up. And you can look at the way he was uh, talking to uh, Kahid. You would think that he had Kahid beat. Happy birthday, like, Shine the I, I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I don't drink. Why don't you drink? I never drink. I'll tell you some booze at parties. I never drink. You're mad backwards, no, cunt. You're I dead when I get my hands on you, do you hear me? I never You're drink. You're fucking dead. I never drink. But in four rounds, you know, you're looking at Kahid really show him why he's undefeated and why Connor has those. Uh, three defeats on his record. And it the, the whole match was was pretty much Kahib from the first to the second. And in the second round, you would think that uh Connor being the striker, you know, he would be the one to have knocked Kahib down somewhere in between, but Kahib ended up being the one that knocked him down in the second round. Uh third round, Connor you know, he kind of kept the fight up on his feet, which is where he's uh, best at is on his feet because he's a striker. And uh, Kahib is more or less a, uh, uh, a wrestler, a grappler type person. And you want to always keep a guy that's a uh, grappler off the ground. And you want to keep them standing up. So in the third round, Connor pretty much did that. But with him being a striker, he didn't throw him in the blows to really to keep the guy off of him. And that's the way you pretty much keep a grappler away from you. You, you have to put them hands on them. And you have to let them know. You have to punish them. Every time they try to uh, get you off your feet, you have to make them pay for it. And Connor didn't do that in the third round, which is why in the fourth round, three minutes of the fourth round, it's, it's a good little run, but he ended up uh, putting Connor in a chokehold. And, you know, Connor, uh, at that point, to me, he looked like he was winded. I mean, he looked like he was uh, pretty much whooped right then, anyway. So he went on and tapped out. But the crazy thing about Kahib is, I don't know about y'all, but I know that's bad blood between the uh, Russians and the Irish. But. I would have never thought Kahib would have jumped over the, the gate like that and started fighting outside of the ring. That right there was a trip for me to even see. But he did it. Now, whether or not that's, that's good or not for the UFC, uh, it, it may be, and it, and it may uh, increase the uh, pay-per-view. I, I don't know. But I know... As far as the physical attendant with fights of that nature, I don't perceive anybody uh, who's uh, willing to put themselves in arm's way considering the melee that may, that may go on after the fight. You know, I don't know nobody who want to pay and go get in the middle of a fight and get hurt, you know, pay money for that. So, like I said, it may uh, increase the uh, pay-per-view. But I can't see uh, many people want to actually go to the to those type of fights with uh, that type of uh, melee going on because you know it, it's it's a dangerous situation. But anyway, Connor got beat up again, and congratulations to Kahib for uh, a job well done. It's like I said, he he pretty much showed everybody why he's undefeated, and. The, the guy did what he had to do, but uh, 
I'm a little disappointed at the end of it because it 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 it, it, it could have been a whole lot uh, better for him if he hadn't have did that. But uh, from what it sounds like, he letting he let the uh, trash talk get to him, cause him to go outside the ring, cause all the commotion. But anyway, that's what I want to talk to y'all about. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And again, I'll be talking to you later.